Sex, age, and disability disaggregated data, or SAD, is valuable for quality programming that should be collected by every national society. This video will share the benefits of collecting SAD and recommend steps you can take to improve the way data is collected and reported in your national society. National Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies exist in more than 191 countries and have hundreds of thousands of staff and millions of volunteers who are providing humanitarian assistance every day, including in times of disasters. During disasters, people can lose their homes and access to food, water, sanitation, and livelihood. The people you serve are diverse, and you want to reflect this in your data and analysis. For example, women, men, boys, girls, older people, and people with disabilities have different needs. Understanding this is necessary to ensure that your programs provide impartial and equitable access to services. For programs to more effectively meet the needs of the people you serve, your national society can use SAD to inform the most appropriate composition of your team. For instance, in some communities you serve, women are more comfortable interacting with women volunteers and staff. Collecting SAD from programs is a good way to understand your reach. Data should be compiled, analyzed, and relevant information communicated to stakeholders by numerous channels, such as management dashboards, donors' reports, public internet sites, annual reports, and shared internally as part of knowledge sharing. SAD improves the accuracy and usefulness of reporting, and is supportive of greater accountability and transparency. As an auxiliary to the government, your national society can use data to show the impact your work has in reaching specific goals like Sustainable Development Goals and Sendai Triple. SAD will allow you to unlock crucial information about your reach and highlight trends and patterns. This information allows your team to make well-informed decisions that lead to better results especially when gaps exist in the programs and services delivered. In terms of long-term planning, information will allow your national society to understand where you are today and where you can be in the future. One way to improve SAD is to ensure your data collection tools are able to collect data on whether people are male or female, their age or year of birth, and if they have a disability. To collect disability data, IFRC recommends as a minimum to use the Washington Group short set of six disability questions that ask about seeing, cognition, hearing, speaking, walking, and self-care. For analysis and reporting, age brackets can be aligned with the severe project age disaggregation for humanitarian services. The IFRC technical note on counting people reach also provides good guidance to understand the reasoning of data disaggregation. Once the data has been collected, don't lock it up and forget about it. You must use it. It is essential for gender analysis, better beneficiary targeting, monitoring and learning. Data should be used as a basis of decision and policy making that will allow your national society to be a data-driven organization. Volunteers and staff at every level of the organization need to understand that meaningful data is important. In summary, when collecting data, include sex, age, and disability disaggregation. Do analysis such as gender and diversity analysis and report it to the various sources in your national society. Use the data for policy making and improving programming to ensure that marginalized groups are not left out. Thank you for watching this video. Please share this video with new and existing staff and volunteers from every department and branches.